Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new video. This is a what I eat in a day, the day before and the day of the marathon. I know I've been so into this marathon thing lately, but trust me, it's coming to an end, okay? <laughs> Um, if you're not into running though, you can still definitely enjoy this what I eat in a day because you'll see that I don't eat anything that's weird. It's still really like healthy food, vegan food, whole foods. And if you're a runner, maybe that inspires you to see that you can eat more whole foods and less like kind of processed. You know, we hear a lot like cut out the fiber, add a lot of sugar to your diet and I don't believe this. It's my first marathon so I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing either. <laughs> Let's be real. But I have my I have my idea. So we're gonna start with breakfast. Every day this week I've had a tall glass of this homemade juice that I've made from beets and pears and apples. Um it's been proven that it increases the the red cells in your body which like carries the oxygen and so the more you have it, the easier it is to do endurance. So I'm going to have a tall glass of that. Snacking on the clementine. For lunch I'm having some rice and some cooked buckwheat. And then I just reheated uh, my dal that I've had over the week also. This recipe is from my ebook and it's basically red lentils, carrots and spices. It's super comforting. You can also blend it if you don't like like those little things that you want. It's kind of liquid today. I might have added a bit too much water. <laughs> But that's okay, it's gonna feel super comforting because especially because I'm sick now, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of coconut milk. So I've just done uh, my energy gels for the race. I've already tested them during my runs. They're great. I'm going to post the recipe for them on my blog very soon. So it's probably already up on the blog. But they really help me to get through the race. They're full of electrolytes. Everything you need to replenish. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. So if I forget to show you during the race that I'm eating that, I am eating that. So I'm just gonna get my greens today. I won't have like leafy greens. I'll just have it in powder form. I think it's better for my digestion. This one's super good. It tastes really good and it has like a bunch of really nice ingredients in. So yeah, um, I'll add water to that and hopefully it helps me fight my little sickness that I have right now. All right, so tonight I'm making pasta. This is gonna be my sauce based of butternut squash some salt, nutritional yeast, lemon juice. I'll add some turmeric after because I just don't want to spend my um, stain my blender. There is the finished product. I added leftover sausages. Of course, they're vegan sausages that I know that I digest well, so it's not new. This is a pretty big bowl of pasta. I don't know if you can see with my hand. I don't really know how much pasta I have here, but it's a good, I would say, cup and a half of cooked pasta at least late snacking on my granola this is about half a cup it's a little dessert and extra carbohydrate for tomorrow <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Here's my breakfast this morning. Oats with chia seeds, a few, like half a banana, almond butter. It's not a lot, it's not like a big portion of oats, but it's enough to provide me with some energy until like the first feeding station because I tend to run fasted usually, so. And yeah, and then, what did I put? Yogurt. I added yogurt. I really transparent coffee makes me go to the toilets and I really want to go before the start. Ooh. And it's his seat! <laughs> <laughs> So I came home, I took a really good bath and now I'm warming up with uh, tea. I'm still a little bit sick so this is thyme tea and the rest of the smoothie that I made this morning that couldn't fit in my, in my hydro flask, it's in here. I don't feel very very hungry actually during the race I was kind of nauseous at some point my sister was there and she bought me like a, a chocolate bar and she's like i got you chocolate around the 30 kilometer and i was like no <laughs> i'm gonna throw up but yeah i wasn't really hungry uh, i think i picked up one or two apricots from like the feeding station and then i had my own almonds and uh, my gel that's all i ate during the race and then after at the end i got like oranges and then we went to Pan Quotidien which is like a healthy kind of thing here with all the girls that came and I had a falafel ball with a tea I was cold um, but I couldn't wear my shoes anymore because my feet hurt a lot so I was in flip-flops but it was around zero degrees so I was pretty cold so now I'm just trying to warm up with a tea <laughs> and I don't even know what I'm gonna eat tonight because we ate pretty late obviously I really don't feel hungry I know I never really feel hungry after running so definitely like tomorrow I'll be really really hungry but I'll see how I feel tonight I don't want to force anything all right so eventually I got a little bit hungry so here is some tempeh cooked vegetables this is zucchini and then underneath there's rice a ton of rice tahini and paprika and I'm pretty exhausted so <laughs> I think I'll go to bed very early and enjoy my meal do absolutely nothing I'm sorry I have no energy to probably finish this video in like a cute way this is my face right now deal with it for sure the that work the the food that I ate sorry worked for me but I'm used to eat a lot of fiber so if you're not used to eat lots of fiber don't eat as much fiber as I did because <laughs> you're gonna have a bit of problems but otherwise if you're used to vegan food go ahead it's a good way to prep your body I think yesterday I didn't eat that much as I wanted to because I was sick and when you're sick you want your body to use the energy to get better and not digest so it was kind of a rough decision <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this what i eat in a day and yeah the other videos about the marathon and uh, if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content i uh, love you guys and see you soon Mwah.